You might remember this crazy story we covered last week about what was hidden on the hard drives of a deceased GOP operative named Thomas Hoffiller. Those hard drives revealed that Hoffler played a central role in the Trump administration's efforts to add a citizenship question to the U.S. Census. They also showed that Hoffler had explicitly written that the result of adding the citizenship question would be an electoral advantage for the Republican Party and white people. Now we have another revelation from those same hard drives. According to the watchdog group Common Cause, Hoffeller's files also reveal that North Carolina Republicans lied to a federal court in an effort to keep gerrymandered legislative districts in place for as long as possible. Those districts have been ruled unconstitutional, but the North Carolina GOP insisted there was just not enough time to redraw the legislative map before a special election. Hoffeller's files tell a very different story. And here to explain, Ari Berman, senior reporter at Mother Jones, author of Give Us the Ballot, The Modern Struggle for Voting Rights in America. Ari, you've been covering Hoffeller and, and, and this case. So what do we learn from these new files? It's pretty remarkable, Chris. What we learned is that Tom Hoffler drew congressional and state legislative maps in North Carolina that were struck down as illegal racial gerrymanders. In fact, the state legislative maps a federal court said were among the most extreme racial gerrymanders ever seen by a federal court. So pretty amazing language. They said in 2016, you need to hold new elections in 2017. The North Carolina GOP said, we have no time. We haven't drawn the maps yet. Well, people discover 75,000 files on Tom Hoffler's hard drives. And what they find is that Tom Hoffler has, in fact, drawn all of these districts. And so basically, the North Carolina GOP lied about the fact that Hoffler had drew the map so that they didn't have to hold special elections, allowing them to prolong their supermajority in the North Carolina legislature for an entirely one more year. Wait a second, wait a second. So what we've, what we've learned, I, the, I think I didn't understand this for, when I read it. What we've learned is that when they go to the court and they represent that we, we just, there's no time to redraw maps, they actually had already redrawn maps. Exactly. They were maps they, sitting on the hard drive of this guy. They, they, they told the federal court, they said in legislative hearings, we haven't done anything to draw the maps. They look at Hoffler his files, he's drawn 97% of new Senate districts, 90% of new House districts. He'd already done the work. And now they're saying Hoffer just did it on his own time. We didn't instruct him to. Like, all you decide to do in your free time is draw hypothetically gerrymandered maps. That is really remarkable. Is there, I mean, so they, this is what they said to a federal judge. They didn't just, like, they represented this in court. They represented this in court. I mean, it, it's all under oath. They, they, the court, in fact, decided not to hold special elections because they believed North Carolina Republicans when they said there was not enough time. This allowed them to have a supermajority in the legislature in one of the most important swing states in the country for another year as a result. There's a pattern here, right? So we're seeing the census and we're seeing it in North Carolina, which is it's not just using these tools, whether they're gerrymandering of the census, to kind of rig the game for your favorite constituencies, white people, Republicans, but then it's the lying about it, which to me is just a tell that they understand exactly what they're doing. They know that they are illegitimately wielding power. They know there's a problem with doing a citizenship question to explicitly benefit white people, which is why they're claiming they needed to enforce the Voting Rights Act, which everyone knows is a complete lie. They know that they just can't outright gerrymander, so they have these different justifications for why they're doing it. Really what this boils down to is they are trying to solidify their power by any means necessary. And then now you have this remarkable confluence where the guy that did all the gerrymandering is the guy that's now trying to rig the census. So it's really all come together in terms of this long-term Republican strategy for long-term minority rule. And what's remarkable, too, is the, are the historical echoes here. I mean, I don't know how familiar are people with, with, with sort of what happens as Reconstruction recedes yep. in the South. And and, and Jim Crow rises, but the politicians then often would say like, oh, no, 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 we, we, it's not race. We don't, we're not trying to stop black people from voting. We just think there should be a literacy test. Like, obviously, people who vote should have a literacy test. Or we think there should be a poll tax or, we, or whatever it is. It was always a disingenuous, they were always lying about their motives to achieve precisely their aims, which was to make it harder for black people to vote and easier for white people to wield political power. And there's a really uncomfortable resonance to what's happening here. And a lot of the rhetoric you see now, for example, about voter fraud is so similar to the things that you hear after the end of the Civil War and during Reconstruction. I mean, it's almost verbatim, the kind of rhetoric we have. And they're talking about, oh, we need a knowledgeable electorate, or we can't have illiterates voting, or we don't want to diminish the value of the vote, and all right. of these things, which is the same kind of arguments we're hearing today. They know they can't succeed on the merits. They know that if you told people, do you want a question that's going to explicitly benefit Republicans? Do you want, right. do you want the worst gerry, racial gerrymandering North Carolina has ever seen? 
people aren't going to want it. Even right. some Republicans might not want it. So they're having these new things. They're saying, oh, we're trying to better enforce the Voting Rights Act, when we all know that's not true. Yeah, the disingenuousness and the outright lying here in both these cases is really astounding. Uh, Ari Berman, thank you so much. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.